All right, this is Jeff Zimmerman with FightNews.com. I'm with the undefeated Gabriel Flores Jr., 20 and 0, rising star in boxing, 130 pounders, got a big fight September 10th on ESPN Plus. How you doing, Gabriel? Doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing well, man. There's been a lot going on in boxing these days, and uh, your name you know, indirectly gets tied to a lot of this stuff. There was a, a big fight with Tyson Fury and uh, Deontay Wilder that was supposed to take place um, a couple months ago that you were on that on that card, I believe, at Raider Stadium. And uh, Tyson got contracted COVID and got canceled. How, how, when you heard that, you know, what was your first reaction? Uh, I was bummed. You know, I was ready to get in the ring. Uh, I was in great shape. I did my 12 rounds of sparrings already. Um, we we're just about to start winding down. It was so close already. But, uh, you know, I got postponed. I was like, dang, and I didn't, I didn't really know what to do. So uh, I just took a, uh, a week off, uh, kind of relaxed, and uh, let my body recuperate, uh, eat, filled up a little bit, and then we got back to the gym, and then we got this opportunity to fight on Oscar Ball. This is under card. Yeah, so let, let's go there because, you know, another con controversial thing occurred this past week. Another big card that you're on under Oscar Valdez, the 130-pound champion. He uh, unfortunately got, you know, tested for, you know, with the VADA testing and came up positive uh, B A and B sample. And, uh, you know, the fight's still going on, which is great for you. But what was your initial reaction? I know you and Oscar have known each other for years. You guys are, you know, I, I believe fairly close. But what, what was your first reaction? Well, then I was hoping the whole card was going to get canceled again and make me wait for another fight or, so, or uh, probably – to October you know I didn't want to get postponed again and wait because I was once again ready and jump in the ring and so close to fire ready and uh for them to cancel the whole bout would have been would have been hard man it would have been real stressful for me but uh, I'm glad that fight's still going on and I'm gonna be able to fight and Friday I'm gonna put on a show how close were you to be being the main event uh we didn't really get too much talk about that uh I, it was just all focused on if oscar was going to fight or if he wasn't uh if they if he wasn't going to fight then probably we would have talked about that but we didn't get there so you're, you're, you're obviously you're just glad to the card's still alive and, and you get to fight yeah i'm just glad i get to get in the ring and showcase my skills yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about your skills here in a minute. You're you're facing a guy, uh, Luis Alberto Lopez, twenty two and two. Every time you fight, you step. It's a step up fight. I know you're with some of the best matchmakers in boxing, Brad Goodman, Bruce Trampler. What do you know about uh, Alberto and uh, what or Lopez and what challenges does he possess for you? Um, he's a tough fighter. You know, uh, he, he throws a jab a lot. He's gonna try to surprise you with a big shot. You know, and uh, time to time, he'll try to kind of punch you. But uh, we got great sparring, you know, so we're more than well prepared for this guy. And I feel come Friday night, that's just going to be a dominant performance because uh, each time I get better in the ring. Yeah, you know, I was talking to your dad yesterday, and he said you're looking as sharp as ever. And uh, how excited, I mean, obviously you had the, the Fury, you know, fight canceled, so you've had a lot of time, you know, back – back in uh, training and, and just getting better. How, um, how excited are you to showcase what you've been, you and your dad have been working on? Very, very excited. Very excited to go out there Friday night and show everybody that I'm ready for world title once again, because I showed it last time, but um, the plan is to keep on showing it until I get the world title fight. So come Friday night, I'm all locked in and ready to get the job done in a spectacular fashion. Hoping to steal the show, I would imagine. Yeah. Now, Gabriel, you're you're 21 now. <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe you were signed by top rank, I believe, at 16. Yeah. You're, you're 20 and 0. I mean, I guess we can still say you're young, but you're a contender. I mean, you're a seasoned pro now, living in Sin City in Vegas. Um, what, what is that like? And how, how do you stay so grounded and so focused? Uh, it's been good out here. Uh, Vegas has been great for my career. A lot of sparring, a lot of work, 
uh, I love the weather, you know. So uh, for my career, it's been great. It's been on the up and up. And uh, I just got to make sure I'm touching the world title. That's the main focus. So uh, I haven't done too much yet in my eyes because I haven't got a world title. And once I touch a world title, I want to get another one, you know. So uh, we're never satisfied. We're always working. Now, I know last time we talked, um, there's a lot of guys that are always – going back and forth on Twitter, you know, a lot of, you, you just, you stay in your own lane. You don't, you don't really call anyone out. You just do your thing. And do you, do you feel though, because of that, you're, you're somewhat slept on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the media, everybody's looking for, you know, people to make noise and uh, do all that, you know, circus, all that crazy things, you know, uh, beef on Twitter, talking to each other and, and let that be that because to them it's just a sport but uh i'm a man of respect man and um if i feel like i'm gonna say something i'm gonna say uh to you personally uh, or when i see you and all that and if you say something to me i'm gonna feel some type of way about it you know if you tweet something or say something on instagram yeah it's yeah, more personal yeah. you know when it when when i when i'm involved i feel like that it comes more personal now Obviously, you're in a 130-pound class. There's, I mean, that the whole divisions down in the lower weight classes are stacked these days, it seems. There's there's a big fight that finally got announced October 23rd, uh, Shakir Stevenson against Jamel Herring, 130-pound uh, unification bout. Um, what are, first off, what are your thoughts on that matchup? And then would you like to fight the winner? Uh, it looks like a good matchup, you know. Uh, I see Shakur pulling it off. I could see him doing that. Uh, but Jamal Herring, he's experienced. But um, I think uh, he's, he hit the top. Uh, his time's over. I, I think it's for, for the young ones. And, uh, of course, man, like I said, I'm, I'm chasing the world title. That's what we need. Now, Shakir, obviously, and then you got Oscar Valdez. We talked about him before. Um, you guys, I think, sparred. You sparred him when you were an amateur, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys know yeah. each other pretty well. Um, what would it be like to face off against him? I mean, you're on his on his undercard. It seems like it could be a potential matchup, uh, maybe in Arizona, maybe in Vegas down the road. It'd be a pleasure. You know, uh, uh, Oscar always showed me the most respect, and I did the same. But uh, we're talking about world titles here. You know, and it'd, it'd be nice to fight for it. Now, now you're living in Vegas. Obviously, you got the Raider Stadium. Um, I know you're a Bay Area guy, a Stockton guy, but um, obviously the fight under Fury, but maybe one day, uh, main event, Raider Stadium. Oh, yeah, all that's coming. You know, main eventing in the uh, Raider Stadium, the Golden One Center. I mean, we're going to be moving, man. We're going to uh, do the biggest things possible selling out arenas uh we got big plans speaking of big plans you, you got obviously you got an all-star team behind you you got you got your dad you got jay prince and the the legend uh hall of famer andre ward just posted a video um stockton king uh, today i saw are, are you and andre still working together is he still consulting with you or how's that relationship yeah uh andre's still part of the team you know, uh, he's an advisor of mine, and we're signed to Andre. So uh, I'm not sure if you know that, but, yeah, Andre's part of the team. He checks in on me. Uh, he'd be at the gym and all that. So we're tied in for sure. What what kind of – can you just share, like, what type of advice or what – I mean, the guy's seen it all. He's done it all, gold medalist, uh, undefeated world champion, you know, fought the best of the best. What, what does a guy like Andre, you know, advice what, – what does he give to you? Oh, I mean, uh, all kinds. Uh, it's just when I'm there sparring, he watches sparring. It's, it's whatever he sees. Um, uh, beginning of uh, when he first stepped in the gym with me, it was about the body shots and then uh, the jab. It's just we work on a little bit of everything. Whatever Dre sees, uh, wherever he feels like I could do better at, I always ask him, like, to tell me, you know, because I don't don't be shy about it. He never really is. And uh, that's how we are. We're all on the same page, and that's how it helps and works. It, it sounds invaluable just having him as additional eyes and ears. Yeah, he's just an extra set of eyes. You know, he's a lot of help. 
Now, this is Jeff Zimmerman with FightNews.com. I'm with the undefeated Gabriel Flores Jr., undefeated rising contender, no longer a prospect, um, you know, getting, getting ready, hopefully, for a title shot here in the near future. Now, you're called the Stockton King. Um, you're also known as G-Squad. What, what's your nickname now that you're living in, in Vegas? Or do you have a nickname yet? Nah, I don't go for nicknames or anything really like that. You know, you, you get what you see. You know, I'm not an actor. I am who I am. I'm Gabriel Flores, man. Uh, and uh, that's what I, I feel like. Stop the King is something I became, you know, uh, looking after my cities. I'm too much of a nickname is who I am. Uh, every time after my fights, I love going back to my city, love going to help, uh, love to be uh, a part of my city and participate in anything to bring it up. Now, when, when do you head to Arizona and uh, get, get there for the, for the week? Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, how, how's weight for you? Oh, great. You know, uh, we're getting the hang of everything, man. We always made weight great. We always made weight well, but uh, it seems like we're making it better by each time. Now, just, just real quick, and we'll wrap up here in a second. Um, obviously, you came up young. You know, they always talk about man strength, you know, in fighters and growing. You, I can just see you sitting there that you've, you've filled out some. Do you feel like you're as strong and as quick and just as ever going into this fight? Most definitely. More because I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable now more than ever. Like you said, I was young. I was learning on the job. Each fight was a learning experience, and it still is. But uh, I've learned a lot, and I'm getting real comfortable in the ring, and that's making me a real dangerous fighter. I'm, I'm more dangerous than ever right now, and it's going to continue to get worse. So let's wrap up here. What, what should we expect uh, Friday night, September 10th, uh, in Tucson on ESPN Plus? A locked in explosive Gerald Flores Jr. You know, I get better each time I step in the ring. And uh, this time you're going to see a lot, a lot more developments. You know, uh, you're going to see me comfortable doing whatever I want to do in the ring. You know, whatever's going on is because I, I wanted to go on. I'm dictating the whole fight. And any shout outs, any uh, shout outs to sponsors, fans, anything else? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, Chicken Ranch Casino, always helping Lovodi. You know, uh, Stockton, California, my hometown. I can't wait to go back. All right, you heard it here. Gabriel Flores Jr., 20-0, and 0, putting his undefeated record on the line uh, th this next Friday against Luis Lopez in Tucson, Arizona, on the Oscar Valdez card on ESPN+. Plus. You don't want to miss him. And uh, best of luck uh, Friday, and we'll talk to you after the fight, Gabriel. Appreciate it. Thank you.